The Pacific Horticultural and Agricultural Market Access or Farmer Plus program has been working with the National Agriculture and Quarantine Inspection Authority for the last five years. It is a non-government organization that is working with Nakia to better deliver biosecurity related services in PNG with immediate focus on the two present threats, the African swine fever and fall army worm. Annual budgets for the for the program actually is about uh, two million Australian, oh well, about 1.9 million Australian dollars. There's a million dollars from Australia and a million dollars, New Zealand dollars from the New Zealand government. And currently we, we help work on what we call market access and biosecurity and trade issues. Most of its funding comes from the Australian and New Zealand governments. Today, representatives from both governments witnessed the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between Pharma Plus and Nakia. The signing solidifies the work both organizations have been doing over the years. Due to COVID-19, the head of Pharma had signed the MOU earlier in Australia and sent to PNG for the managing director for Nakia to sign. We have been working very closely with Pharma with the Australian government and the New Zealand government. And we say thank you so much for this occasion. It is very important for our organization, Nakia, as we continue to fight pests and diseases in this country. Supporting and strengthening biosecurity systems is a key way of taking forward our partnership that we really value with PNG. We're committed to supporting the government of PNG and Nakia through other partners um, and together to protect um, PNG from this and other incursions. Nakia is a government institution that relies heavily on the government to fund its work. Like many government offices, it too has felt the impact of reduced funding due to COVID-19. Although you know government doesn't fund us many, many times, we do generate a little bit of money, but during this period when COVID-19 has uh, taken center stage, we have been having difficulty trying to raise, raise revenue. We are struggling at the moment, but we have been... Uh, we have been telling our staff, our scientists, to make sure that we are on the ground, especially in the, in the, in the um, Epic Center, ASF Epic Center in the South Nadas, and as well as in Chiwaka, in Chibupan, where Kobe Berry is. Our scientists are still there. They're still man managing the roadblocks. They're still, they're still there 24 hours. So the support by the New Zealand and Australian governments through Pharma Plus is highly appreciated. That support played a huge factor in containing the spread of African swine fever in the Highlands region. These are very serious, serious diseases. But Pama, Pama Plus have been at the back of us. The main issue at the moment is the African swine fever emergency response. And we've been working with, with Nakia in that space, particularly funding uh, them with all the and the technical response. While the globe is currently faced with threats to human life due to COVID-19, countries must also assess their preparedness for other unforeseen and lurking biological threats to food and agriculture that can also be life-threatening. Shamin Poreambeb, National MTV News.